welcome back to Pediatric Calculations. Now let's do a quick review. We talked about dose calculation, maintenance IV fluid rate, and pediatric urine output. So, let's talk about IV fluid bolus. If you still remember our previous patient only peeing 0.8 ml per kilo per hour, we assessed the patient and we got a picture of a dehydrated kid. Now we called the doctor and being an awesome nurse that we are, we recommended we treat him for dehydration. Dr. McGillicuddy agrees and says, okay, let's do a fluid bolus. The fluid of choice for pediatric patients for the purpose of hydration is the isotonic 0.9% sodium chloride. So Dr. M gives an order for normal saline, 0.9% sodium chloride, with a dose of 10 ml per kilogram to run for 20 minutes times one. For the fluid bolus problem, I need two things. What's the volume to be infused? And what is the rate? How much and how fast? So using dose order and the patient's weight of 22 kilograms, we calculate 220 mLs. Based on the order, we want to run 220 mLs for 20 minutes, and whatever process you use to find mLs per hour, use it. Dimensional analysis is just one of them. We have 220 mLs for volume and 660 mLs per hour for the rate. You know, the purpose of the bolus is to hydrate, to give in a large amount over a short period of time. So normal saline is the fluid of choice. So if you are running something IV this fast and contains additives other than NS, A, you may be correcting a hypoelectrolyte, or B, you are holding the wrong bag. So please make sure you have the right bag and you have the right rate. Can you imagine running something really fast? with sugar? Or how about potassium chloride? We will now pause the video to discuss any concerns or questions you may have. So for summary, we talked about dosage calculation. Please don't forget to provide both the dose in milligrams and the volume in mLs. We talked about maintenance IV fluid rate in mLs per hour based on the patient's weight. We also talked about pediatric urine output, and that is the volume over time over weight expressed in mLs per kilogram per hour. And lastly, we talked about IV fluid bolus, and please don't forget to provide me the volume and the rate. This concludes pediatric calculation we will now stop the video to answer any questions you may have.